New York City. Welcome to All Night with Joey Reynolds. Joey's guest tonight, magician comment Simon Lavelle. Singer-songwriter Rachel Platten. Comedian Bob Greenberg. Comic Marilyn Michaels. Singer Carol Channing. Singer-songwriter Lenny Ravel. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Reynolds. Where's the studio audience? They were throwing snowballs at the window a while ago. We're celebrating. You know, uh, I think this whole set looks like the lottery show. And uh, people, I want to give you the numbers tonight, all right? 109, 118, 161. 248, 158, 460, 28. Those are not the winning lottery numbers. Those are the channels we're on. If you can remember what channels we're on, you got to have like a, a, a Palm Pilot just to find out how to get to this show. Now, anybody that's found this show has really found the secret of Nim. You remember that movie? That was the rats that lived under the city of New York and existed. And there were some strange little, I, I guess it was a chemical that they digested. And the rats were enlightened, right? And they became politicians. <laughs> now they're running the city. <laughs> no, we have, uh, we, we have the secret of Nim right here in this show tonight. The secret is to be in a window in Times Square and to have everybody come here. Now, I was watching the entertainment shows that follow the news. You know, there's lead-in shows, they call them. On the television, there's uh, Access Hollywood and Entertainment Tonight. There's a plethora of them. Extra, what is it, Extra, one of them? I don't know. I don't know all of them because, you know, I haven't been watching trash TV for a while. I have my own, my, my own head has a, a, a multi-screens, you know. I mean, I, I have an AMC theater with arena seating in my head. So I don't really need to go to trash television. I've got enough going on up, upstairs here. I have a committee that meets on a regular basis and votes against me. It, it uses my head for a meeting room. They move the chairs around. They smoke. They're disorderly. And I'm going to dismiss them. I'm firing this committee. I want them to go home. I don't want them to live in my head rent-free anymore. I'm going to be clear of the clutter. And as part of that, I, I, I digested tonight that those uh, shocking shows that have all that music under them. I think I mentioned it a little bit last night. You know, the ones that are like movie trailers? Where there's, there used to be in the movie trailers a guy who made an announcement about what the film was about. And when you're watching that in the theater, the guy would come on, the announcer would say, this is a love story. You know, remember those things, the voiceover things? They don't do that anymore. Now they just hit you with bang, bang, bang. There's a lot of clutter, a lot of noise, a lot of this great pop-ups and sounds. And, and the trailer for a film is, uh, is essentially a noise machine. Now, the, the shows that follow, which I was just talking about, have that same principle. And yet they, they dish out all this gossip about everybody, you know, like Lindsay Lohan and what this one's doing to whom and why and who's on Ellen DeGeneres and who did this and who did that. You know, it's the, whole, the whole thing is just a, a, a garbage machine that Newton Minow, who was the commissioner, whose name, the only, the only FCC commissioner whose name we ever remember, uh, he called this the vast wasteland years ago. And it's proven true. I mean, you know, we have really lived up or down to that standard. And, uh, and I'm, the reason I'm commenting on it is I'm amazed that people will sit there and watch all of this crap on television and, uh, and, and, and actually start to believe that they're in these people's lives or that these things that these people do are important. I mean, not, not any one of them would come to any one of your party. You would never invite half of these people you hear about on the news to your house. You never would go out to dinner with them. You wouldn't have them to your wedding, your bar mitzvah, your confirmation. You would never have any of these people around you. The only time that you would ever have any of these suspects who are on the news around you, and that's, it's not news, it's gossip. The only time you would have them is probably if you're stuck with them on a plane. You happen to be going to the same place, but you're stuck in a seat because it's a bargain flight. But that's, that's my thought, is that there's a lot of crap on television. So I don't want you to be uh, inundated with that crap. I want you to watch my crap. 
you know, I mean, we do this every night here for a couple of hours, and if you can find your way here, you've got to stick to this channel. Now, that would be 105, 109, 118 <laughs> in the hymnal. Time Warner is 161. Uh, Comcast has got two of them, 248 and 158. Verizon on the Fios is 460. RCN is 28. And over the air, it's 4.2. But that's how you get the show. So this is a, you got to, you know, if you want the show, you got to really work for it. Now, yesterday, when I went out with the, uh, uh, with the blizzard, you know, I call that a blizzard, I'm from Buffalo. And I'm telling you, I went outside, and my car here, which you probably will see tonight, is pretty clear. It's in the clear. Let's show a little bit of it here. It's in front of that little pile that's left after Mayor Bloomberg's great effort to make sure this horrible thing that we had last month never happens again, where we're stuck with our plows down. Now, yesterday, did you see me shoveling the snow? Steve and I went out there. He brought a camera. And I, uh, I, I, if you can roll a little bit of that last night, this is me now digging out of this out of the stuff now don't forget i'm from buffalo and i was looking for that body in the trunk i did make a stop in little italy on the way here and i got i got uh, a little bit of a little bit annoyed because i couldn't find a shovel in there and i had to dig until i finally found a little scoop and uh, totally unacceptable no gloves no hat but I had to dig my way out of this thing. And I, I, got, I got myself going and, and worked in a real leather. I had to move the boxes out of the way, which you'll probably see. And I got myself into, a, into some sort of a frenzy where I was, we don't have sound on this because I was swearing. And uh, this, this here is me taking and doing the job. Now this is something that Oprah will never do, even to her Pontiac that she gives away. For, well, first of all, Oprah gives away cars that she'd never drive. Let's put this on the line here. And, uh, and this show doesn't give away spit. You know, we don't give away anything on this show. Uh, if you're lucky enough to be on the show, maybe you can get some food out of the green room. All right, so here we go now. Uh, we, got, we got the front of the car out of the way. I finally got the side of it and, and the hood and the back. And, and we're all ready to rock and roll. And I found a guy with a plow, right? And I decided that I would ask him. I didn't offer him any money, which is a major mistake in New York, which is a city that lives on tips. I'm still shoveling my way out here. This is the way that uh, we have childbirth in Buffalo. We have to dig. We have to really <laughs> so I found the guy with the plow, all right? And I asked him uh, if he would be kind enough to come over and <laughs> get me out of, the, out of the situation I was in so I could get into the damn car. <laughs> and so look at what happens now, right? Now the guy, the guy agrees to do this. <laughs> he comes along. And, uh, you know, this is a terrible thing. It ruined my makeup. Uh, and I got, this, uh, I, got, I got the guy to move along with the plow, and, and, and I didn't have to give him any money. Notice this? This is a real, real terrible thing. So when the guy did the job for me, which was to take the snow and move it out of the side of the car so that I could get into the car, what he did was he pushed the snow back onto the car. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really, uh, uh, this, is, this could be like a Marx Brothers movie, you know, do you remember those guys? <laughs> right? I mean, we're living like that. Now, is it right? Am I, am I making this up? Look at this, really, this is not news footage for Chuck Scarborough, but come on, here we are. This is what happened to me yesterday. The snow went right back on the car. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, how was your day? <laughs> are you in bed watching the show? I, I just wonder where you are. Are you having someone with you in bed while you're watching the show? Is the other person not into this program, and you're into, into it, but they're not, and you need to get some earplugs? I'd like to know. I remember years of being married and, and uh, trying to share the one television set we had. This is long before we had the iPods, iPads, I this, I that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a little break here, and then we're going to bring someone out here. Marilyn Michaels, one of my favorite people in the world, and she's a wonderful comic, impersonator, and a good friend. And she, you don't see her a lot because she does drop-dead imitations and uh, people have to pay. So I, I don't know, I, I, I wrangled a favor out of her because I did an opening for her at Barnes & Noble before the bookstore closed on, on Broadway. And we're going to bring her out in a second. But I want you to know that that footage of me shoveling the snow will never be seen again on television. <laughs> you will never have to put up with this again. <laughs> this is the last storm, isn't it, guys? We're not going to have any more? How many? We've had more snow this January than ever in history, isn't that right? Yeah, this city is a real snow job for a lot of people anyway. Bad joke. We'll be right back. Joey Reynolds on the All Night Live Watch. I'm here in the window in Times Square of the NASDAQ at 43rd and Broadway. People behind me, now they're uh, throwing money. We'll be right back.
Talk celebrities have something to say. They head for the stoop. This is my stoop. I gotta come to the stoop. Talk stoop. I feel like we're so close that we could kiss. This is a whole other kind of stoop. Yeah. It's where Cat Greenleaf gets people talking. What? What? Really? Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. Listen, Naked. Do you mind if I call you Naked? Tell me something good. The best of New York on a stoop in Brooklyn. The celebrity butts that have graced the stoop. Talk stoop. Weeknights at 8 on New York Nonstop. Sponsored by Cozy. Life should be delicious. I'm an anchor and a pilot. I am passionate about chocolate. I am a ballerina. I'm the daughter of a jazz musician. I am a four-time New York Golden Glove champion. I'm my grandpa. Yeah, I'm your grandma. <laughs> I'm interested in the story behind the story. I'm making this look natural. I am glamorous. I am an anchor and a blues girl. I am all about my craft. I am New York. I am New York. I'm a New Yorker. I am New York. I am New York. We're all about New Yorkers. LX New York. It's the story of the moment. A taste of the best. It's opening night. A helping hand. The characters of New York. The spirit of New York, told our way. LX New York, weekdays at 5. We're all over town. not to start the show in January there wouldn't be anybody out there but they're now they're starting to gather see these guys are on they're on they're out there can we see them at all are we able to I don't know if you can photograph them at all you may as well give them a shot they're standing out in the cold but the storm must have broken because you got people actually starting to gather are we getting we're getting a little crowd around here now they're watching my bald spot <laughs> <laughs> or Les Paul used to call it my secret. You have a, whenever you have a ball, you have a secret. <laughs> Whatever that, the, what is that, Greek formula? Is that what that is? Greek, that stuff on your hair? The hair club for men. I love that one. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't need that. This is my own hair. Come on, you guys. At least I'm natu the natural man. All right, here's my uh, wonderful friend and very talented person who is not often on television these days because that Sullivan died. Here she is, Marilyn Michaels. Bring her out here. <laughs> oh, Marilyn, come on. <laughs> this oh. is a long walk, my darling. Hello. <laughs> oh, good to see you. How good to absolutely have you. great. Oh, I have to schlep furniture? I know. No, you just, that's all right. You're so Jewish. <laughs> hey, Sweeney, what are you going to do? Can we talk? Oh, how great. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Isn't it nice to have a, a, st a setting in Times Square? Yes, I'm too far away from you. Oh, well, let's It seems we come stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then. But I can't remember where or when. I remember. <laughs> Some things that happened for the first time seem to be happening again. Do you like this? I love it. And so it seems that we have lived before and laughed before and loved before. But who knows where or when? Oh. It was in a leather bar in the village. I think we, so. I think yeah, you're right. You know, met. it's very hard to sing a cappella that way, you know. Well, you're wonderful. It's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> now, we left off at Barnes & Noble. Yes. You had a book. We did. You were so great. And, you, no, and you I had a CD, great. Wonderful at Last, which is, isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. It's, that a great, is, it's, it's a absolutely great. fabulous. It's a wonderful. Oh, you well, have Carol a Carol Channing. Channing. Carol yes. Channing. She's coming out here and she's so wonderful. I'm not going to do that. No, you can she's do that. You can do a little bit. We love, we love your impression. Oh, she's so fabulous. <laughs> but has Joan Rivers been on the show yet? Not yet. 
Oh, too bad. Oh, come on. So, oh, my, please, can we talk? Oh, mm. oh, God, oh my God, Melissa, she adorable. <laughs> She's so adorable. <laughs> Melissa is so adorable. Joan, you know, that was a wonderful time, documentary. Yeah, I know, the documentary is great. But I want to tell you, you know, my, my Joan, Melissa, the only time she cried was when she found out she was not adopted. Yes! <laughs> That's a great documentary. Yeah, it is great. It actually I is thought great. it would be nominated for an Academy Award, but no, 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 no. It didn't well, get anything. She's, she's real. She's, you know, I worked with her over at WOR. Oh, I'm sorry there. to hear that. <laughs> a couple of years of that, and uh, she liked my cheesecake, and I gave it to her frozen one day, and she said, who cares? You know, I mean, she's always funny. She's real nice. Well, Very she's, nice person. she's brilliantly, and, and my God, I mean, she's, the, the, she's still in there. At this yeah, age, I mean, yeah. she's really, you know, I mean, hot, hotter than ever. And I think that's great. And she looks strange. She looks strange. Uh, uh, lift me with the crane. <laughs> <laughs> but good for her. Now, what have it you been doing? Let's good. talk about you for the, the real well, Marilyn Michaels. Yes. Well, you know, to me, life at this point is just, you know, a happy colonoscopy. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it's all about. Well, your son has grown, and My he's written a story grown. for yes, you. Yes, We should talk about that a bit. Yes. Well, we've written we've written the show, which we're terribly excited about, and and we hope it's it's coming it's coming together now, which is kind of very loosely based on Alice in Wonderland. But Alice is a little black, African African American kid, you know. Yeah. And you almost uh, said black. I said black. Well, you know, I'm, I come from like the Panthers, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, but you're on television now. How I know. great is that? But you know we're we, uh, you, we're you know all uh, we're, we are multimedia. You know. Do you know what it means to be on TV like this? It means that your sex life improves immediately. <laughs> That's right. As soon as they see you, look hot, kiddo. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know about that. It's the lights. No, you look, you look <laughs> wonderful. No, I'm having a Thank good time. You. you know, this is this is what I wanted to do when I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, and now that I'm born again. No, bored, bored again. That's it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I wanted to do. It's my dream. And well, you're doing it, babe. This is it. I had a whole lifetime of uh, of show business, like you have. You yes. Know, you've done everything. Yes. We, we're all. Well, not everything. Hello. Well. <laughs> Only a few things. But there are some left for me yet to do. Well, I hope. The thing that's left for you to do is your Broadway show. My Broadway show. Yeah. That, that's, that's the thing. But we have the CD out, and wonderful at last, MarilynMichael.com. Hello. I got plug, it. Plug. And, um, and, and the songs that we wrote, that I'm, I'm real proud of that. It's another area, another facet of, of my life that I didn't know I could do. So this is a, is a thrill for me, and being able to do it, do it on television, playing it, hearing it on the radio. I love it, darling. I love it, and I hope that Jaja goes on forever. <laughs> Well, I hope that people, she lives forever, that she's so wonderful. These and people like Jaja Gabor and Dr. Ruth, yes. they were regulars on the late night talk shows and the early day talk shows. Yes. First one, I, you know, we, we haven't mentioned this on the air. I mean, for those who are older, we'll remember Virginia Graham. Remember <gasps> her? I, yes. Oh, G Virginia Graham. She was fabulous. Yeah. And I did her show. And, and she was she was terrific talk show lady. Yeah. And kind of started me out, really. Virginia did. It's so great that you mention these people and that you and you keep them alive. And yeah. I feel so bad that that people like Elizabeth Taylor, who's my favorite, and people don't know what she sounds like anymore. <laughs> but she's going to get out of that wheelchair, Joey, <laughs> and do remake all of her movies, cut on a hot tin roof. And all of these movies again because she's alive and fabulous. <laughs> Nobody knows what she sounds like. Well, she she's bigger than life. There's but I, you certain know, stars. I, yeah, but well, so I was going to mention also. Now wait, we no. went, went to Merv yeah, to uh, uh, who? Who? the guy who made the sausages. Jimmy Dean had a talk. Jimmy about. Dean started me out. These all these people started started like Tennessee like, Ernie Ford. Tennessee Ernie Ford. He no, I didn't do his show. But I did everybody, it seems like I did everybody else's show. I mean, they everyone. all had hit records. Tennessee Ernie Ford yeah. had 16 tons. 16 tons. Jimmy Dean had PT-109. Yes. Which was the JFK years. You yeah. Know? And there was also, uh, who else was a talk show host? I think uh, Dinah Shore. Dinah, well, she was, I mean, I just want to tell you something. Because it, it just, 
it's so it's so upsetting to me that people don't remember because she was so wonderful. And do they see that on that, that camera over there? Ah! <laughs> and for everybody who remembers Dinah Show, sure, she was absolutely <laughs> fabulous. And I went, yeah. When I did a show called The Copycats, which was the forerunner of Saturday Night Live. Right. And also really of the, of the uh, Broadway takeoff show. What's that one that, where they take off on all the other? Laughing. Is that laughing? laughing? No, the one I was thinking Copycat of. Copycat started it all out. Is that right? Yeah, it did. And Rich Little and I did that. And then we did the Diet 7 Up thing. And then Saturday Night Live just, mmm, just mushroomed, which was well, so great. I think they've been smoking the mushrooms. These days, no, it's, it's interesting. You know, we've had a, a oh, really wonderful. I can wonder see you now. How fabulous! Oh, thank you. It's so sure wonderful. <laughs> but I do want to tell you that it's really kind of difficult for me to express it. But you know, when people look at my show, Joey, you know, you betcha. <laughs> hey, the Russian guys are there. And they look at my show now, and they see, and they can really get the feeling that it's so fabulous, and they realize. They absolutely realize, and you can't refutiate this, because they realize that Alaska is truly the greatest city in the world, and that is what it's all about. Uh, Alaska's a state. Oh, did I get that wrong? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> a state. Well, we were, you know, we're a state and a city are really it. close. Did you notice New York was trying to be Alaska yesterday? <laughs> yes, I know. And look at all the, look at what's going on out here. My God, people can peer in. They can really look into your, you know, they can look right half <laughs> of it. So you gonna sing? So Were wonderful. you gonna sing something? Or I, mean, I sang to That you. was it? That was it. Do you want me to sing again? Next time I'll come on and, and you'll have, uh, we'll have little music and little little yeah. keyboard stuff. You're so great, you're wonderful. Yeah, I mean, next time I'll do a little Barbara. Do a little she's bit. So, she's so terrific, <laughs> you know? I mean, she wears her glasses now and and she has, did you see her house? Yeah, I've Did been you in see it. that house? You've been in the house? Yeah, the one in Sierra. I don't know which I one. I mean, with, with all the little dolls and all the, all the stuff and, the, and the, the fountains and the, and the little streams and things like that. I well, mean, speaking of. Uh, why is she doing that? Carol Channing, you know, Hello Dolly was also done with Barbara Streisand film. Yes, yeah, she did it. And yeah. she was very young. And they chose her because she was just so hot right after Funny Girl, which I had the pleasure of doing. I did Funny Girl when Barbara was doing it here uh, at the Winter Garden Theater. Yeah. And Julie Stein asked me to do the National Company. So that was, that was quite an experience because Barbara and I got together and we went, we went to the movies one night together, of course, with a, an entourage of people. Yeah. And we went to see a Marcello Mastroianni movie. And she was very interested in me. And uh, it, it, was, it was quite, I mean, at this point, it was limousines and it was all, but it was, it was, it was thrilling. She was interested in the, in the gal who was following her in the part of Fanny Bryce. Did you ever think she was going to be such a big star? Did you ever have that? I, I did because it was, it was so important to her. It was like, this is the most important thing, you know. I remember <laughs> a, a reporter was asking about me because I was the new kid on the block. And Barbara just froze like this. And I wanted to say, it's OK, honey. <laughs> it's OK. You're gonna, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? You'll be absolutely terrific. But I, I remember that. I never forgot that. And then we, we saw each other again in Vegas. And I was working with Don Rickles. And um, this time she came over and she said, who are you? Oh, boy. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a phenomenon, really, yeah. what, what she's done. And I feel very grateful that uh, if she can't do it, I can always dub her voice. <laughs> I'd be well, happy I think, to do I it. Think, I think you are, have had your own career and wonderfully. Well, I did. Of course I did. And hit records. And hit records. Well, I don't know about that. But th this picture of Carol Channing is driving me crazy. It's staring me in the face well, we'll over have here. Carol come out here Because Richard, second. Richard, his <laughs> skipper is coming out. And, yes, and, we, will, and doing we will have a, well, you know, some <laughs> nights the show is a drag. <laughs> and tonight's one of them. We're going to be right back. Marilyn Michaels coming up as Bob Greenberg. Uh, my name is Joey. Joey Reynolds. Yeah, be right back. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Howard Dvorkin, the founder of Consolidated Credit. For almost two decades, Consolidated Credit has helped millions of Americans just like you. We've helped nurses and doctors. We've helped police officers and firefighters. We've helped homemakers and home builders. We've helped over 5 million people suffering from credit card debt. And now we want to help you. Consolidated Credit is the one company you can trust. Our exclusive Freedom Quest program can help you find options and solutions to your financial challenges. We can reduce your monthly payments by up to 50%, consolidate your bills into one easy payment, save you thousands in interest and fees, and help you get out of debt fast. When credit card debt is the problem, we're the solution. We've helped over 5 million people. Let us help you. You're one call away from financial freedom. Call Consolidated Credit now. 1-800-440-2181. 1-800-440-2181. Picture wonderful guests, terrific music, and comics that are really funny, and a host that's okay. Uh, that's me, Joey Reynolds, on NBC's New York Nonstop, and what the show is called is All Night with Joey Reynolds. We're actually doing the show from the NASDAQ market site, which is at 43rd and Broadway in Times Square. This is a show worth staying up for all night with Joey Reynolds on NBC's New York Nonstop. Computer problems? Not a problem for Computer Haven. At a loss at what to do when a computer malfunctions or that inevitable virus strikes? Then call the guys at Computer Haven, the safe place for all your computing needs. Experts in computer and laptop repair, upgrades, and new custom-built PC desktops and Macs. Give us a call today, 732-264-1100, or visit us at computerhaven-nj.com. on work release from Rikers Island behind me. And Mar Marilyn Michaels wanted an audience, so I figured we'd bring all the guys who are responsible for the show. Good, very accommodating. You wanted an audience, right? I did. And then weren't you asking for that? All right, so now you got Evan over here. Yeah, cute. And, and you got Ron Luxemburg. Yeah. You know, everybody here has got a, a good background. Ron, Ron brought uh, uh, Michael Jackson over to Epic Records when he ran That's that fair. thing. That's fair. So you, you okay. wouldn't know that. That was okay. <laughs> Bruce, Mendel, okay. Bruce Mendel has motor, is it Motor Works, Bruce? Where is he? Major World. Major, what is it? Major City World? World. Major, Major World. World. Major World. All right. I don't even know. Oh, you got good. 16 that's car good. dealerships or 20 or something. You know, so he's, uh, he's, he's the big he's guy. Fair. He's, he's fair. He's the big guy. He's fair. And then we have next to him, I guess, uh, Phil, what, what would we credit you with besides uh, uh, putting a lot of the stuff together here? GNG Productions, yeah, right? Yes, yes. And as Evan is running GNG Productions along with you and, right. and Sandro. And then we got Ralph De Palma, who's a longtime attorney and a first time caller. Oh. <laughs> this we, is good. So th they have me here to sign the contracts. Are you signing, signing contracts now? Yeah. Now, can you imagine that I actually am, I haven't made it? We've been on the air all week. And you haven't signed and it? And I haven't had signed it yet. I I've been holding out for it. Regis's job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like you're going to get it. So I'm signing Regis's contract. Mazel tov. I'm using his name. Good. <laughs> so, Marilyn, while I'm doing this, I'm going to, uh, this is really taking place. I'm really, see what, you know, this, oh, is, this a, is cool. This is where they put those legal stickums here, mm -hmm. you know, sign here. This is like, I think what, I haven't read it. That's the other oh, part. Unusual. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, does, <laughs> Ralph, does never ta read. talent never reads contracts anyway, do we? We have someone do it for no, us. No, we just exactly. sign, and then yeah, we're happy and we right. can just sign. Oh, somebody Should signed for me it. here. No, that's Bruce. That's Bruce. Right? All right, that's, that's mine here. That's All right, this here is, uh, yeah. So this means I go off unemployment then. I got to start. You, you I can't take checks employed. anymore. I, I, was, I was so enjoying Governor Patterson because... He was giving me checks. Oh, how nice. And then nice. he lost his gig. <laughs> so I don't get checks anymore from him. We're going to have him on the show. I ran into him at a oh, thing. This is he's, good. he's a great guy. This is good. And the okay. mayor is coming to us. Okay. Bloomberg Bravo. is bringing his plow. Wait, don't go yet. Don't go. Don't go. Uh, now, uh, Marilyn wanted a little audience tonight. Yes. And I, and I want, she's a wonderful uh, imitator and performer, of course, and singer. Thank you. But uh, you wanted a little audience. Now you've got a moment. You, you don't have to work like you're playing to me now. 
All right, now you're playing to the investors. Do you want me to play to these investors? <laughs> yeah. You want investors. a Broadway show, baby? <laughs> you know, Kill them. I'm telling you, this, <laughs> you is, this is so oh, good. Oh, yeah, and of course, the Rock of Ages is, is... I just feel bad that I just got married, so, you know, I can't do anything oh, with I these forgot. guys. I forgot. And you uh, married yeah. a young guy named uh, He's Ashton Steven. Kutcher. <laughs> No, what is that? You no, know, a, I mean, uh, she should die for him instead. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, these are all. You've got one of each over here. I mean, you've I beg got, your pardon. You've got one of each. It's like you know. That's what I saw. When I, had, I had three kids. I had one of each. <laughs> it is a British guy in this. If you do you know how to make the tea, I said you're British. Don't you know how to make the bloody tea? <laughs> I'm not supposed to curse on this show, no, right? No, that's all right. Oh, too bad. <laughs> so but these guys are so great. And this one took me to, he took me to the studio today. No, he took you to the Brooklyn Diner ah. is where he took you. They're, they're right across the street. They give us the food. It's you know. 20 inches of snow out here. We I get think. a 50% discount. But now that I've signed this, tomorrow the food is free. <laughs> <laughs> well, bravo. No, isn't it wonderful? Well, Not what, but well, I want you to have a little audience. Come on, do a little song what? or something. What? What do you mean? Just right on the spot. You, what? You, what? If anybody can do it, it's you. People, people who need investors are the luckiest people in the world. And I wish I had a piano here. Next time you'll be able to afford a piano. They're so rich they couldn't afford a piano. The fabulous Marilyn Michaels. Let's have a nice applause. What? Did Jackie Mason do the show yet? Jackie Mason has not been He's here yet. He's still fantastic. So, so, Ra so Ralph, I'll see you in court. Yes. <laughs> no, it's good, you guys. Thanks. Now, would you clear the? Did you pay for the set? Get off of it. <laughs> now, the next thing is that you want my rent, won't you? Yes, yes, we'll work on the rent. Oh God, do I have issues? <laughs> I hope we'll thank you, Evan. I hope there's no flood. And Phil, Phil's my main man over here. <laughs> Phil's a guy who. What did she do? Phil believed in this when no one else did. Look at, get a shot of him now. This is, get a wide shot of him. He's a football player. Now Phil, Phil is a guy. Hey, we're on the air. We are. Oh. Phil is a guy. Phil is a guy who believed in all this stuff when when no one else uh, wanted to put this together. We and how long have I known you? And Ron Alexenberg, of course. But Ron, you got you got the other part together. But li listen to this here. I've been watching television for the snow removal stuff. And every one of these <laughs> yussy shows, I mean the national gossip shows, I think they're crap. But <laughs> that's OK. Dry, not if they go down 43rd Street, where we just came, 44th Street. You got to have a mic. <laughs> Wait, that can get right through there. Tell us how you really feel. Loosen no, no, no. I, I think it's about time that we, we get into new television and, and stop fooling around. Yeah. People are watching TV differently. They're using their instruments differently, all of them, including my you know what. But you know, I mean, everybody's, everybody moves along, yeah. except the society. We have not moved. We haven't graduated from crap. Well, we're, we're in we, a reality WKRP, crap. <laughs> most of these most of these stations uh, that are running these shows mm. are really retarded they're running they're running shows that are, are about ruining everybody's lives it's reality television this is what it is these go, things go in phases you know in cycles like uh, you know like a period you know and then it's over and it's on well, to something I'm else. a guy we have commas hello you remember you have, yeah. you have a, don't you have a daughter no oh I thought uh, you did two, yeah, two. We have two daughters. <laughs> I knew there was something there. But anyway, I'm, I'm so thinking it's, about it's how, how we, we really have down, we've we just come down to such a lower level of, of, of leading people into, like sheep, into this vast wasteland. And we've got to stop somewhere. I hope so. And put everybody so. together in the same room and start doing things that are a little bit more, you know, that, that have some substance. Uh, Amer let's face American it, every Idol is, is, is just a, a new way of doing a television variety show. And it is, it's fun. It's a little bit on the downside, but it's, it's still great fun. I don't like humiliation. Talent works. No, no wait a minute. I have two daughters. Uh -huh. And if, if, my, if anybody ever, if I, first of all, my, if one of my daughters was here the other night. If they go on television mm. and some idiot... I don't care if his name is Simon Cowell, mm. uh, Ryan Seacrest, I happen to like. I, I, they're not going to make fun of my daughter. Yeah. They start doing that, they, I'm going to have a gun at the door. Don't you think that that's what made the show? Yes, the, the and success it's, but that it's humiliation. It and it's the lowest form of our nature is humiliation, to humiliate yeah. someone. When you fire them, you saw Up in the Air with George Clooney, right? You saw yeah. the movie Yes, last I did, year. yes. That's, that, you know, he never humiliated anybody in firing them. There's right. a style. 
Yes. And, and that was for legal reasons, probably. Yeah. But, you know, for uh, uh, other than legal, how about decency? The morality works two ways. Isn't this interesting? Listen to this one. I got off on this thing tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. It works two ways. Fat chance and slim chance both mean the same thing. Mm. That's, we live in that kind of a society. This is it. It's a style. It will go out of style. You know, good taste will come back into style. I don't know when, but I hope it happens sooner than, sooner than later. I don't Except with comedy, it's changed so much. You could never say a dirty word, and now today you can. In a way, it's liberating, and in a way, it's too much. Lenny Bruce started everybody off. Yeah. And then he, he led the way to Don Brickles and all the guys that I had the pleasure to work with, these great guys. But then when you take someone, you took someone like, like Alan King or even Jackie Mason, and they can do it without using, they can make you laugh without using the expletives. Uh, Jack, you have a, a gentleman coming out here who I think does a great Jackie works Gleason. Clean. And he works clean. Yeah. And, and they could do it without it. And, what a great craft to be able to do that. So we got Bob Greenberg is out here. Bob Greenberg. All right, bring is here. him in. Bring yeah. Bob. Bring, bring Bob in here. We'll get a little sample of his stuff. Yeah. But you know, this is this is a really good. Come on in, Bob. Contracts. Uh, that's a great angle for a fat man. I should do Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> 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 Woo! Okay. <laughs> Do you hear what he said? Did, did they put that on the air? It's a great angle for a fat man. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> evening. Yeah, the, the best angle for a fat man is right at the crotch. <laughs> give me the falcon. Wait, give I me the falcon. <laughs> give give the me the falcon. Give him the side shot of that. The oh, side wait, wait, shot. Who's yeah. my camera? Who's my camera? <laughs> right over is here. It, this guy? All right, ready? There you go. Come on. <gasps> <laughs> you got it? Do you got a close Woo. up of it? Do it with this <laughs> hand. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Sit down, Bob. Pull up a couple of chairs. A couple of chairs. Yeah. I'm a Governor oh, Chris good. Christie. How are you, sir? Yes, All right, there you sit go. Down. I'll sit. I'll sit. I'll unbutton. Pat Cooper said, always unbutton the jacket. There yeah, you well, I, you can't go out. Pat Cooper is not that exactly. That was so good. Oh. That was so good, Bob. This is good. This is that good. Was good. So what's contracts are occurring? What's going on? Yeah. I signed a legit? deal, and they didn't give me a copy of it. Do you notice it? There's no a, copy? I, I got Kreskin. That's okay. You That's know. okay. It's invisible ink. It's all right. Yeah. It'll be good. <laughs> But I don't think anybody's ever signed a contract on the air, have they? I don't, not that I know I don't, of. I don't think I don't Edison know that. did it. There was a Vitaphone, I remember, was with there? Edison. <laughs> yes, yes, Edison did it. And uh, he did it, they had a little scratch, Edison, you know. Well, you so. know, I, I'm friends with uh, Howard. Well, Thomas this, I don't want to take, I don't want to take all your time away, so <laughs> we'll talk about something else. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, now, Bobby, you, you've been doing some stand-up comedy that's Certainly. pretty outstanding. You work Thank clean, you. as we mentioned earlier. Yes, so yes. So tonight, tonight, you're going to swear. I'm going to swear? No, no, don't do it. <laughs> Who should I swear at? No, I, when I saw you last I time, swear. You, you were Laurel and Hardy. I was Laurel and Hardy, yes. Oh, and, do that. And recently, actually, I auditioned for Curly of the Three Stooges. And I saw you as Jackie Gleason. That's right, that's right. Honeymoon, he does all these things. Oh, I auditioned oh. for this new Three Stooges movie. The Farrelly Brothers are going to do it. I'm in the mix, they say. They're talking yeah, about me. They're right. saying things like, he's right. so fat, he's so old. And they're really talking about me. <laughs> I get the script, and it's exciting, this big, thick script. I'm going through the script, and there, there are my lines. And a chainsaw, save me! And so I shave my head. Yeah. I shave my head because I want to get the part. Oh, the curly. And so I'm waiting. You know, I'm waiting for the callback. And I open backstage, and there it is, wanted curly for the musical Oklahoma. So I figured I might as well audition for Oklahoma. So I went oh. to the audition, and I sang, oh! <laughs> it's a definitely a different curly for Oklahoma. Maybe I should have sang, I'm just the girl who can't say, nah, ah, ah, ah. I don't know. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I do have some hats here. You know, Myra said, I haven't worked with hats since, uh, I don't know, I, since, since Carrot Top and I used to work together. It but, helps, doesn't it? But it he asked me, she... Well, let me tell who Myra is. Myra has been producing... So don't wear a tie. I'm not wearing a tie. She, Look at this. She's been producing the, the radio show for years, and we had the Jewish Hour. Yes. And Myra is a yenta at large. Yes, she certainly so is. So we're, I think we're going to start doing that like again that. next week. I think I, we're going to I love put the that Jewish Hour and Mickey Freeman, my God. Oh. But, you know, there's no Jewish people in show business, so... Uh, <laughs> no, there are no Jews. We're all Mormons, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't <laughs> With know. a Yiddish lilt. Morons. Morons. That's right. <laughs> 
I spell it the other way, but I then know. I'm a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't spell it correctly, would I? So let's have a little Jackie Gleason. Little Jackie Gleason. You got the hats? I got the hats. The hats Pardon me while I get the hats. <laughs> He's got a pet. <laughs> Which hat should we do? Should I walk around or should I sit? What do you Whatever you want to do. Whatever feels comfortable. You know, when you go to the can Port I, Authority. Can I walk? Is it all right to walk? Yes, you can do anything you want. I can, what's, Bobby, my, what's my angle? I got this much? I'm in, can I Bob, do you do anything you want. The cameras will follow you. Well, so, um, I'd like to do something serious, you know. Marilyn Michaels is here, and this is your no, new show. No, it's not Marilyn. It's Liza. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to do Jackie Gleason doing Shakespeare. Okay. <laughs> to be or not to be? Oh, that. That is the question. <laughs> because you know that I know. <laughs> that you know that I'm the prince of Denmark. <laughs> oh, I'm the prince. I am the prince, and Ophelia is a mental case. <laughs> no! <laughs> now is the winter of our mm, discontent, mm. made glorious summer by the son of York. A horse, a horse, no! My kingdom for a horse. Oh. Or a string of Peloponnes. Peloponnes! <laughs> if you tickle us, do we not laugh? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> if you prick us, do we not bleed? Go ahead, prick me. <laughs> Will you prick me, Norton? Norton? Ah! Ah! <laughs> At two, Norton? At two? <laughs> Yago, you are a blabbermouth. <laughs> a blabbermouth. <laughs> Desdemona? Desdemona? Bang! Zoom! <laughs> Juliet, what can I say but baby? Thou art the greatest. Uh, Elizabethan audiences are the greatest audiences that's... in the world. Good night, everybody! <laughs> Did I work over cameras? <laughs> yes, sir. Bravo. Sit down. Oh, one hand. I'll sit. Bring me back to and if you're, if you go, if you Do go you know to the... that, that was the first uh, variety show I ever did with the Jackie uh, Gleason show? Yeah, before the honeymooners. Bef he was doing, uh, it was in Florida. It was Miami yeah. Beach. Miami, Miami Beach, Beach audiences. Miami Beach. Greece. And uh, he oh, uh, how sweet it is. He didn't uh, rehearse. Mm -hmm. And Red Skelton, Clem Cadiddle, he rehearsed all the time. Right. The different uh, entertainers had a different style. Sure, sure. Dean Martin never rehearsed at all. He came in at, at rehearsal, and you had to know what's going on right. because he didn't. But Jackie didn't rehearse either. No. And, but it was still it was a great thrill. He knew what he was doing sure, every step sure. of the way. When you do that, it's, it, it brings me back to that wonderful... A wow. wonderful memory. He never knew the lines. He would do this, and that was the signal to Audrey Meadows to help him. <laughs> well, rubbing, his stomach, of, rubbing his stomach? Yeah, and then wow. she would kind of remind him, Ralph, wow. remember you told me earlier, and then <laughs> she would say the yeah. line, and he would get so excited, because he was, he, now we do the line. You're right! You're right! He was so Because <laughs> now he had a page of dialogue in his head. Yeah. Oh, she true. just cued him live <laughs> on national TV. That's it. A beautiful the uh, oh. Jackie Gleason is memorialized in the front of the Port Authority. Yes. Yes. There's a statue of him, and okay. you wonder who it is sometimes. You know, people come here, they don't know yeah. from this generation. <laughs> They're wondering what this, this guy is in front of the oh. Port Authority. You should see the characters that hang out in Mr. Gleason's feet. I, I'd love to dress up like him and just come alive and get out! <laughs> These guys are well, he was Well, he was a cab driver. He, who was? Ralph Cramden. He was a bus driver. Bus driver. A bus driver? Bus driver. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bus driver. I have an apartment that's like his kitchen. <laughs> yes. You know, it's a studio. Well, this is the golden age. But thank you for <laughs> yeah. you two because, yeah. I mean, it's it. all on there. Yeah. And yeah. I, the, the people put stuff on YouTube, and I forgot. I forgot that I've done that. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know when the hell I did it. We're going to bring Carol Channing out here. The, right? Yeah. And She's speaking of YouTube, I have my YouTube's tied. I'm so excited. Uh, we're going to be right back. The Joey Reynolds yeah. all-night show from Times Square, Marilyn Michaels, of course, yes. very exciting. And, and Bobby Greenberg, who's going to... And I got more hats. Uh, he's got more hats. It's so exciting. Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Hi, I'm fitness celebrity Jennifer Nicoli. And if you're busy like me, then stay tuned because I'm excited to share with you the most innovative piece of exercise equipment ever. Introducing the Ab Circle Pro, the fastest, easiest way to have the flat washboard abs and the sexy V-shape you've always wanted. Are you struggling to lose those love handles nobody loves? Now there's a machine so advanced, it targets your entire core upper, middle, and lower abs, and even your obliques, all in one circular motion as it aerobically burns fat in just minutes a day. The secret is the Ab Circle Pro combines cardio and abs to burn fat, while its unique friction-free track uses the momentum of gravity to target your entire midsection in a full circular motion, firing your core like no other machine has ever done. You'll firm and flatten your stomach in just weeks, not months. We guarantee it. Best of all, it's fun and easy and takes just three minutes a day. And watch this. Simply remove the pin and the Ab Circle Pro becomes a fat burning bun and thigh machine. On the Ab Circle Pro, I lost almost three dress sizes in a few short weeks. With the Ab Circle Pro system, I've now lost 60 pounds. I feel great and I'm one hot mama. And now, through this exclusive TV offer, the Ab Circle Pro can be yours to try in your home for 30 days for just $14.95. And if you call within the next 10 minutes, We'll send you Jennifer Nicole Lee's complete Lose Your Love Handle system, which includes our three-minute express workout and nutritional guide absolutely free. That's everything you need to transform that body from flab to ab. You have nothing to lose but inches, so pick up the phone and call now. Call 1-800-709-1301 to try Absico Pro for $14.95 plus shipping with credit card order. Call now for a free upgrade to priority processing so you'll get your Absico system in 7 to 10 days or less. That's 1-800-709-1301. Call now. Picture wonderful guests, terrific music, and comics that are really funny, and a host that's okay. Uh, that's me, Joey Reynolds, on NBC's New York Nonstop. And what the show is called is All Night with Joey Reynolds. We're actually doing the show from the NASDAQ Market Site, which is at 43rd and Broadway in Times Square. This is a show worth staying up for all night with Joey Reynolds on NBC's New York Nonstop. I went to that Richard Gere concert at Carnegie Hall for Tibet, uh, the fundraiser for the Dalai Lama. And of course, you know, when I was introduced, I did that real cheap shot of Hello Dolly. Which <laughs> for, I, knew <laughs> I knew that was coming, but this is, this is our Dolly here. And uh, if you can just Dolly in on the shot, we're going to be, I'm going to pun hell before the show's over. Yes. Uh, this, is, this is Carol Channing. Mm -hmm. Now, Carol Channing, of course, was the star of Hello, Dolly, and uh, the among, many, many, the other, many other shows. Yeah. And Marilyn Michaels, who does a drop dead imitation. And before you drop dead, <laughs> we should have a. Uh, I catch him? I catch him? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to bring, we're going to bring, uh, well, Carol Channing. Carol Here's Channing. Carol Channing. Carol Channing. She's here tonight. The and we're, there she yeah. comes. Bring there she her goes. through the door. Oh. 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 to see you. Oh, don't you look adorable? And these are from Carl. He said you would be expecting those. Oh, these are little drugs. Yes, they're little <laughs> drugs. And here we are at the NASDAQ building. Yeah. I feel like I have certainly arrived. You have arrived with my sialysis. With your, oh, with your sialysis? <laughs> it sounds is like a disease. Is that legal here? Oh, it's it is legal. It's legal. Sialysis. Uh, sialysis. Yeah, I think what that's how you say is that how you call well, it? I think it's one of those newfangled drugs that yeah. you get all these other symptoms for. Oh. Uh, you can bump into somebody in Times Square and never know that you bumped into them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens with Cialis. Well, I, I remember uh, Les Paul saying about Viagra, it's like uh, putting, he said, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, a new flagpole on an old porch. <laughs> <laughs> That was said well. Come Les on. Paul said that. He, he did say that, yeah. Was his timing as wonderful as yours? <laughs> 
Well, you are the queen of timing. Uh, well, you know, they tell me that. It's you so are. exciting to be here in Times Square on the Joey Reynolds Show. This is your fifth show, and uh, wow. five has always been a lucky number for me. Yeah. Did you know it was the fifth show? Yes. No, I yes. didn't know. Fourth. It. It's, 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 oh, it's your fourth show. Don't went push down. it. Went <laughs> NASDAQ. It just went down. Oh, NASDAQ it's, just yeah. went down. It's just five, yes, uh, to four. Well, yes. that won't happen with Cialis. No, no. 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 Cialis. Yes. I I'd like to see Alice. I would love I'd like to, to see, see anybody Alice. at this point. So do I, darling. <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever happened to Alice? I don't know, but I'll tell you something that Marilyn Michaels here does a drop dead imitation of you. She does? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Could I see it, Marilyn? Well, it's not as good as you, darling. Oh, Marilyn, <laughs> you know, I, yeah. Oh, isn't she the best? <laughs> I have to tell you, imitation <laughs> is the sincerest form of flattery, and if I wasn't Carol Channing, I would want to be Marilyn Michaels. Oh, you're uh, so sweet. Uh, it's true. And I, if I wouldn't, I'd want to be Liza, because if they, Mama would like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Can you do that? No. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> I needed that. I'm doing the Three Stooges. I'm doing my act. The Three Stooges. Right. You do all three Stooges. I just, do, I just do curling. You just do curling. Yes. Uh, yes. How did that start? Um, in the schoolyard, just making friends. You know that's exactly how it started with me as well. How what started? Uh, yes, when I was four, uh, when I was in the fourth grade, Bobby Schmaltz nominated me for the secretary <laughs> of the student body. It's true, I wouldn't make up a name like this. Bobby Schmaltz. Uh, Bobby Schmaltz. <laughs> he nominated me for the secretary of the student body, but I could not think of one reason mm -hmm. why the other students in the school should vote for me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get up on the stage and go to the, go to the polls and vote for Carol Elaine Channing. Mm -hmm. So instead, what I decided to do was impressions and impersonations of the other students and the teachers in the school. Oh, yes. And that is how I got started in show business. Oh, wow. We did three assemblies a day at Aptos Middle School because of the size of the school. Mm -hmm. And that is where I learned to love long runs. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Didn't you feel that they were accepting of you? I always felt like a pariah as a kid. I had a long refugee kid with a different nose. It was like, as soon as I performed, suddenly the kids liked me. Well, and can they... I ask you a question? Are you an only child? <laughs> well, my brother's an only child. You know, it's one of the... Well, I was an only <laughs> child, and that's exactly what I felt. That, that, that was, yeah. Yes, because, yeah. uh, I, but once mm. I was out there in front of those people, yeah. I felt that they were all with me. I never felt that anyone was making fun of me. Uh, I always felt that That's I was it. in control. That's and it. It's like You're a mask, really, and you can really be more of yourself because you can they express you yourself. They, yeah. You know, they accepted you, and you know, if I were Diane Keaton, they would be like, yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what? Oh, yes. I feel like I am with all of these incredible celebrities right here. They're, uh, they're, and they're, they're all, in, all in, one, in one woman. All in one woman. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> oh, Joey, that is show business. And you are bringing back yes, show business. Look at this. There are no special effects. There are no gimmicks. It's just Joey Reynolds yes. sitting here with three of the greatest talents in show business. This is true. And I think I feel like I'm putting a nail in the coffin of show business. <laughs> Why do you feel that? No. I don't know. It's we just need a, more Joey Reynolds no, in the show. No, it's good. I was I was thinking about your career a little bit. Let's okay. before we run out of time, you're going to sing for us a little uh, something yes, tonight. Yes, I'm going to sing. But you know, you've had a brilliant career. You've done so many things, uh, and and you started. Uh, you gave Are us you little... doing the show? You did character. Where is it? Where is well, it? I am appearing at St. Luke's Theater. You know, years ago I was at St. James Theater. Oh, yeah. I'm doing all the saints. So, <laughs> yes, after the show this evening, you can meet me on St. Mark's Place, where I will be signing autograph, my autograph book. But I am appearing uh, at St. Luke's Theater. Uh, the name of the show is Richard Skipper. You know, he does me. Uh, Richard Skipper as Carol Channing in concert.
And uh, we, yeah. this is an homage to uh, Joey, what show business used to be. Yeah. No special effects. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one's falling off the stage like they're doing in Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, they're not falling off the stage. They're falling into the audience. They're falling into the audience. Yeah. I fell into the audience once. Uh, I was doing Hello, Dolly, mm -hmm. and uh, I fell right off of the lip of the stage. Mm -hmm. I fell right into a fat lady's lap in the front row, <laughs> and I tried to make my way back to the stage and I could not get up on the stage so I went around the theater to the stage door I knocked on the door and I said hello they said who's there I said it's Carol Channing Joey they said you're the third one in the last half hour <laughs> and they would not let me on stage so I had to come back around the stage I came up the aisle Charlie Carroll uh, one of the dancers in the show he caught me out of the corner of his eye and he reached me down like a wet hair and he pulled me up on stage just in time for passes by. <laughs> I see. Yes, so I had fallen off the stage. You sang the score. You actually yeah. sang the, the whole score. Oh yes, I did do the entire score. Did Jerry Herman see you do that? Show? Uh, Jerry, Her well, Jerry Herman wrote the show. Yes, I know that, darling. But did he see you? I think he would have gone crazy oh, seeing you well, doing it. Well, Jerry Herman hasn't been to St. Luke's yet, but we're still hoping. Oh yeah. Well, and I can get you into the Actors Temple if you want. Once can you're done, you really when do you're done with the Saints, up to the Actors. Oh, yeah. Are you the, working the, at the Actors Temple? I do. I do perform at the Actors so Temple. So you know yeah. Jim Brochu, who just. Oh, Sure. Zero Hour. Yes. You him. should have him on the I've, show. I've had him on. He's he been on the radio. He is absolutely mm -hmm. one of the greatest entertainers I have ever seen. No, where, have when, you seen him, Marilyn? No, I haven't. As Zero Mistel. Yeah, he's oh, incredible. He's oh, yes, I heard he's marvelous. Oh, yes. Are yeah. you, are you uh, uh, going to perform one of the songs from your Broadway shows? Or? Yes, I am. Is I'm this... going to do I Put My Hand In, which is the opening number in Hello, Dolly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, now, how many, how many shows did Carol Channing do on Broadway? Well, uh, do you mean Broadway performances or Broadway shows? How many different shows? shows. Uh, there were uh, 13 shows. Yeah. But, of course, the big hits, of course, are Hello, Dolly yeah. and Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Gentlemen, that's the big uh, one. Right. But did you know that uh, Carol uh, replaced uh, Rosalind Russell in Wonderful Town on oh, Broadway? I know that. She was also in The Vamp. She did she more. Mame? Did she do Mame? Uh, she didn't do Mame. Charles uh, felt that Mame was too similar in nature to Hello Dolly so it never happened. And it's true. But isn't it a shame that Carol didn't do Gentlemen Prefer Black? Oh, Marilyn Monroe. Hey, you you know, know, Marilyn Monroe came to see, every, uh, for two weeks, Marilyn, yeah. uh, the other, other Marilyn, uh, she came to see the show and she sat in the front row and she would come back after every performance and she would say, you know, nobody but you should do the movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, who did she think I was going to play, Gus Esmond? <laughs> She already knew that she was going to be right. doing the movie version of this. Oh, yeah. It was all wrapped up. She was just studying me like a hawk. Oh, and you got to do skidoo. I, we don't talk about We don't that, talk about We don't talk no about that. Skidoo. No skidoo. No skidoo. Oh, have you seen skidoo? Yes, you do a strip oh, you're tease a, in that. Uh, you're the one. Well, I'm a ghost Have you buff. seen it? I have it? to see it, no. Oh, skidoo. Carol it Channing in the buff. Scathing. What is this Skidoo yes. thing? I don't know Skidoo what it is. was uh, directed by Otto Preminger. Austin Pendleton. Uh, Austin Pendleton he was, was in it. He was extremely Mickey Rooney. mean, Otto Preminger. You know, oh. he was very Germanic. Yes. You would not believe that he was really a Jewish guy. I mean, he would like always play. He always played a Nazi, you know. He, well, I think he was. <laughs> the Nazi commandant. <laughs> and working on that film, it was like that. Yeah. Carol Channing had a striptease. That's uh, Jack right. Gleason took LSD. That's right. You got to see Jack Gleason <laughs> trip. Yes. Uh, and Mickey Rooney. Mickey Everyone Rooney. was on an LSD trip on that film. <laughs> uh, Marilyn, I'm going to send it to you. So I, you I, I think I'm having it. a Vietnam flashback. We're not making not this sure. up. Let's People, take a break, and then we'll come back. People out there uh, think we're making this up. Richard Skipper, who is uh, uh, joining us tonight as Carol Channing. And, uh, and we will be right back on the uh, Joey Reynolds. What am I doing with this thing in my hand? On the Joey Reynolds All Night Show from Times Square Live. People are staring in the window thinking Carol's still with us. We'll be right well, back. Well, she is. <laughs>
York celebrities have something to say, they head for the stoop. This is my stoop. I gotta come to the stoop. Talk stoop. I feel like we're so close that we could kiss. This is a whole other kind of stoop. It's where Cat Greenleaf gets people talking. What? What? Really? Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Naked, do you mind if I call you Naked? Damn, there's something good. The best of New York on a stoop in Brooklyn. The celebrity butts that have graced the stoop. Talk stoop. Weeknights at 8 on New York Nonstop. Sponsored by Cozy. Life should be delicious. I'm an anchor and a pilot. I am passionate about chocolate. I am a ballerina. I'm the daughter of a jazz musician. I am a four-time New York Golden Glove champion. Oh, I'm my grandpa. Yeah, I'm a grandma. I'm interested in the story behind the story. I'm making this look natural. I am glamorous. I am an anchor and a blues girl. I am all about my craft. I am New York. I am New York. I'm a New Yorker. I am New York. I am New York. We're all about New Yorkers. LX New York. It's the story of the moment. A taste of the best. It's opening night. A helping hand. The characters of New York. The spirit of New York, told our way. LX New York, weekdays at 5. We're all over town. Simon LaBelle. Singer-songwriter Rachel Platten. Comedian Bob Greenberg. Comic Marilyn Michaels. Singer Carol Channing. And singer-songwriter Lenny Ravel. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Reynolds. I signed uh, signed a contract on the air a little while ago, and then I found out I just now saw a copy of it. It's actually the rent. <laughs> For the building, <laughs> I got duped. And New York's all about rent anyway. We got we got to figure it out as as how much it costs to live here. It's about a thousand dollars an inch, if you want to live in Manhattan. Uh, you know the 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 wonderful thing about this show is that it's available to people on all media. And right now we started on television, which is NBC's New York Nonstop, and you'll find the channels to be 109 on Cablevision. I want to plug a little bit in case you want to find us again or you're visiting relatives. On Time Warner, it's 161. Uh, Cablevision is 109 and 118, I think it is, yeah. And also uh, Comcast is 248 and 158. You'll find us on Verizon Fios at 460. RCN is and the RCN is 28. Yeah. yeah. So you got us on all channels, and wow. eventually uh, they'll carry this thing in syndication on radio and uh, moving it out to all the other NBC markets, which are all over the, which is all over the country. Maybe tell them. You know, I, they were they were pushing the uh, idea of of uh, putting uh, this uh, uh, campaign together for NBC because NBC's got some new partners coming tomorrow. Comcast is coming or today, and the. Uh, uh, old people were universal and curiously when I was in Hollywood I opened the Universal Studios I was in marketing 
and I had worked, uh, I had my own company, and, and the first account was uh, the Bill Drake radio stations, and then I went into television with Metro Media TV, which is in New York Channel 5, and I did the first musical ideas and produced them. But my next job was to go over to Universal and open the uh, tours, which they only had uh, a wooden shark from Jaws and an old psycho house and no tram. I mean, you know, everybody was just, we were, we were brown bagging it back in those days. But we opened the amphitheater, and the first show that I, I did the promotion for was The Who. It was Tommy. And they've come a long way. Then Universal bought a, a piece of, uh, of this entertainment division, I guess, of NBC, the way they structured it. But now they've got a new, uh, new partner with Comcast, which is a cable company, essentially. And, and not everything is on cable. That's what I wanted to put on the air here. You know, you may be watching this on digital TV. So this is the new television. Uh, the the uh, channels are four, Channel 4, which is NBC, conver conventional, mm -hmm. and there's 4.2 where you're watching this if you're watching it over the air. So the over the air is still relevant. And one of the really wonderful things to know about our society is that if we don't have over the air, and God forbid we should have a cable infraction where somebody cuts the cord, then we don't have any communication at all. However, if we're still over there with towers, very much like after 9-11, we still have cell phone usage at that point because of towers. You, you, you still have a, an emergency system. So we want to keep, you want to keep the over-the-air broadcasters healthy, the, the people with towers, the radio, the television, and also uh, uh, this particular channel, which is a, a new one. Now, now what, what they need to do, to be honest about it, is the phone companies have to get back to making phones. You know, they, they do everything except have quality of sound. And uh, it's not that they haven't spent money or they're not trying, it's just that they're not spending the extra money for broadband. See, when Channel 4 was just Channel 4, there was a wide band. But now that they're digital, they don't need that much space. So that space can be used for phones to give you the quality that we're all missing on our cell phones. Nothing to do with dropout, because that's a tower to tower piece of business, but the quality of the sound. And, you know, I mean, we're using them like walkie-talkies. I, I feel like when my kids call me, I'm a member of the Taliban. You know, I mean, I, I should be in a foxhole talking to them. And, of course, with, what, for what they're asking for, I pretend I don't hear them anyway. <laughs> but the, the real challenge is the Skype. You know, I know immediately when I use Skype, which is a free phone part if you don't pay for the long-distance service, which they offer. Uh, that was invited, invented, incidentally, in uh, the Baltics, you know. I mean, the, the uh, Skype comes from Estonia, which was a former Soviet country. And it's, a, it's the entrance way to the Baltic Sea, if you, if you want to check your geography. Uh, but that, that particular country, small, very small, has beautiful people and high tech. And they sold, Skype sold, for millions of, hundreds of millions of dollars. Now we all use it pretty much, many of us do, not everybody. But what I do is I call the kids, you know, and the kids call me, and what they do is they get, you see them on a screen. You see them, they see you, it's back and forth, it's wonderful two-way. Skype is, is wonderful. But I know that when my daughter's on Skype with the baby, that's good for a check. <laughs> when, when, uh, when my son-in-law appears on the Skype after I talk to the baby and my daughter, that's good for a bailout. I mean, I know I got a family situation comedy. You talk about the Kardashians, you know. And incidentally, who the hell are they? These are the most unbelievable uh, freaks on the planet right now, but it's working, isn't it's it? It's working, yes. Plastic it works. surgery works. Is that what it is? Yes, it does. If and or but, yes. But I'm, I'm on them because <laughs> Kardashian was such a good lawyer. He was such a good guy mm -hmm. and a good right. lawyer. Uh, isn't it shameful for your kids to, to do this? Or? Very it's sad, yeah. Very yeah. Very I don't sad. know. How much money are they making? It's very strange. How Lots. much are they making? Too much. Lots. Maybe I get my kids to do this. Yeah. Well. The Reynoldses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, now, Carol Channing is here tonight to entertain us, and we're, we're ready, just about ready. We've got our sound check, and, uh, and Carol Channing's got a musician with her, too, as well. Who is it? Yes, Mr. John Fisher. John Fisher is here joining Carol Channing. So let's have a nice round of applause. For Carol Channing tonight. Here we go. I have always been a woman who arranges things for the pleasure and the profit it derives. I have always been a woman who arranges things like furniture and daffodils and lies. 
when a man with a timid tongue meets a girl with a diffident air. Why should the tortured creatures beat around the bush when heaven knows Mother Nature always needs a little push? So I put my hand in here. I put my hand in there. And a girl over six foot three loves a man who comes up to her ear. It's obvious she'll never be seduced Or some kind of soul condescends to give her bow a little boost So I put my hand in there I put my hand in here I have always been a woman who arranges things It's my duty to assist the Lord above I have always been a woman who arranges things Like luncheon parties, poker games, and love My aplomb at cosmetic art Turned a frump to a trump lady fair she had a countenance a little bit like Scrooge, but oh, today you would swear the Lord himself applied the ruse. So I put my hand in here. I twist a little, stir a little, him a little, her a little, shape a little, mold a little, some poor chap gets sold a little. When I use my fist a little, some young bride gets kissed a little, pressure with my thumbs, matrimony comes when I put my hand. Well, well, that's a that's a what a great performance that is. That's great. Now maybe next week we'll bring an audience. Thank Richard you. Skipper, right out there. Thank you. Really yeah, that's terrific. wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, Monday, may I plug myself? Monday night we are celebrating my 90th birthday at St. Luke's on 46th Street, 308 West 46th Street, and people can buy their tickets by going to Telecharge. Great. Wow. Wonderful. Thank great. you. Thank you thank for being you. here. Terrific voice. Yeah. Thank you. It's a great job. The energy is wonderful oh, here. Yes. Well, this is our yeah. terrific. That's but he has his own voice. I mean, he has a, a powerful well, voice. Yeah, that is Richard Skipper. We That's say, Richard's you know. powerful voice. Yeah, and, voice. and Richard in a dress. No, know. You know, which is... <laughs> great Carol. But he, right? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great... It's, it's what do you call it when you... Julie Andrews. What is it he when is you... He channeling Carol Yeah, that's a channel. Channing. Yes. That's what it was, Carol channeling. Channel C. Yeah, yes. I knew there was another word that, besides drag queen, <laughs> which I don't think he likes. You don't like that, do you? Don't like what? <laughs> You're hot. You're hot. Oh, thank you. We try. God knows we do. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, when, we, uh, when you do the impressions, do you dress up, too? Do you do that yes, whole thing? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. In the huh? copycats, I did. Did you? When I did that with Rich Little and my wonderful Fred Travelina. Uh, so why don't we not have impressions anymore? George Kirby. Well, we do. We have them on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, but that's sure. limited. And, and, I mean, they, it, and they do them there in varying degrees of good, you know. I mean, Eddie Murphy and some of these guys were just brilliant. Billy Crystal. But we don't have them anymore. And, uh, and they're we not don't even have working. Them. I know. <laughs> so what I mean, why, why do we not have them? Occasionally we get. Uh, yeah, the, I don't know. It's true. Some when, of the kids doing when, them. Yeah, I can remember people like Fred Travelina and, of course, Rich Little was very big. I'm not Rich, sure how it, it fell out. We of, don't have anybody right now. No. Well, I'm here and she's here. No, 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 no. I mean <laughs> current people to imitate. Well, I, by that not, current? Few of no, we're not making we're not making imitations of people who are current. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Hello. Oh, all right. Yeah. He I'm wants not... to go back in time. No, I want to. I want to. I want to. Oh, you mean today? today? Yeah. But hello. Then, there I are got very my few people you know, to you know do. Why? No, that's There's why. There's a I very asked you. natural yeah. style to performing now, like, mm -hmm. because of reality TV. It's all about the internal. Years ago, you had people like, you know, an Oliver Hardy who was <laughs> and doing all this stuff. People yes, don't. Yes, and you had Catherine Hepburn, and she was so, you know, fabulous, right. darling. And she talked like that, and it was so wonderful. <laughs> and then after that, and then she got old. And, <laughs> and, and W. She feels. I'm right. very big. Ah, ah, ah. George Burns, you do that, George? I don't do George Burns. And then it was, you know, oh, George, uh, George, it's so, uh, God, George, it's wonderful, darling. Yeah, I mean, you had so many people who mm -hmm. were distinctive. Right. Marilyn Monroe, it was so 
that will never come again, you know. I mean, it was so fabulous, and it was, and Julie Andrews was so good. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yes. I did, I, I did a, a Julie Andrews thing. I wrote a piece of Mary Poppers <laughs> during the drug. Remember the, the, the uh, Nancy now. Reagan, uh, going back in, now to Nancy <laughs> right. Reagan's anti-drug campaign. And I wrote a song. It was called Super Careless, Unrealistic, and You Die from Overdoses. No, wait a minute. I need that piece of material. <laughs> I want that piece it's of mine. material. I can use that, <laughs> darling. Contracts out. All right, we're gonna be, we're going to be right back. And we got Shecky Beagleman is coming up in just oh, a second. Carol Channing, thank you very much, Richard Skipper. See you over at the uh, at the place, uh, at the St. Luke's, and also uh, Bobby. We're going to see you pretty soon. We've got a site. I'm all over the place. And, you're, uh, and you'll, be, you'll be you'll be playing uh, Curly from the Three Stooges. Hopefully, I'm in the I mix. Hope so. We'll see for the I hope so. We'll see. And the Think sensational Marilyn May. Marilyn Michaels. Marilyn Michaels. <laughs> Marilyn May. Marilyn May's a great singer. She's my friend. She is. And a, I, I love know. her I'm so being, much. I'm just being. Facetious. And MarilynMichaels.com. Yes, I'm doing you now, Richard. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be done. Oh, we'll be right. We'll be, we'll be right. This is, this is an unbelievable night tonight here in our fishbowl. I'm heading to Florida to, to perform. And I don't know where I'm going to be. Are you trying to hock but, a free flight? Yes, is that what you're, I'm leaving tomorrow. You can so. go to Priceline.com. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. You can go to the table. I can't believe it. This is the third time this month my PC crashed. The last crash cost me 2500 and they only restored a portion of my data. You should check out this new online backup software called Desk Protect. I can easily recover from a crash at any time. Desk Protect? Must be complicated. Not at all. With Desk Protect, you just run a simple installation process, and within minutes, you can select the data you need protected. Sounds expensive. How's less than $6 a month sound? $6 a month? Even I can afford that. Computer problems? Not a problem for Computer Haven. At a loss at what to do when a computer malfunctions or that inevitable virus strikes? Then call the guys at Computer Haven, the safe place for all your computing needs. Experts in computer and laptop repair, upgrades, and new custom-built PC desktops and Macs. Give us a call today, 732-264-1100, or visit us at computerhaven-nj.com. Picture wonderful guests, terrific music, and comics that are really funny, and a host that's okay. Uh, that's me, Joey Reynolds, on NBC's New York Nonstop, and what the show is called is All Night with Joey Reynolds. We're actually doing the show from the NASDAQ Market Site, which is at 43rd and Broadway in Times Square. This is a show worth staying up for all night with Joey Reynolds on NBC's New York Nonstop. Not much to do with all the snow, I guess. A lot of my friends got plowed today. Uh, this is this is a, a show that we uh, really have bad jokes on because I want to check and make sure you're awake. <laughs> now you know, corny is good. I, I've been saying that for a week. I pray it's good. <laughs> it, may, it may not be that good. 
Uh, we got we got some more entertainment coming here. We also have some provocative people. You know, I mean, Bin Laden, although he was a lot of scum, a lot of things, uh, he had uh, um, he had a few wives, and we have Bin Laden's wife who now lives here in New York City, and we want to bring her out here. Uh, Osama Bin Laden's uh, very lovely wife. Uh, what I, I I don't even know what her name is. I think it's Shecky, isn't it? Mamie, Mamie Bin Laden. Here she is. All right, so let's bring her in here. Mamie, come on, take take a long walk with a with a sheet. This is good. She's wearing her burqa. Hello, oh, Joey. Over here. Okay. No, over here. What over here. Yeah. Oh, around, around here. Oh, no. no, let me. Okay. <laughs> let me see over here. It's oh, wonderful, it's... wonderful. I can't touch you, right? Yeah. No, no, don't touch me, Joey. I'll... Sit don't down, be please. Don't to death with rifle butt. Praise yeah, Allah, Jihad. Let's it's go. It's wonderful to have you here. Oh, it's swaddling so good clothes. to be out of the cave, Joey. Yeah, you look like you're rather warm. Oh, yes. Call, you're, you're dressed for the weather. Oh, I'm always dressed for the weather. Yeah. The cave weather. Joey, is this Al Jazeera? Am I on TV? No, no. This Can is they see NBC me in Afghanistan? is a little different than, oh, <laughs> than that network. This is so exciting to be yeah. out of the cave. Joey! I wish I could see something. Okay. Uh, so I, uh, what, what is this thing? In the, I don't want to touch you because I guess I'm not allowed to touch you, am I? Well, please do. I, I've never been touched by a man. You haven't? Except for Osama. Joey, this is so exciting to be here. Should I tell everybody who I am? Yeah, well, you are Mrs. Osama Bin Laden. I am, I am Mrs. Bin Laden. Yeah. My name is Mamie. Yeah. Uh, Mame, my nickname is Mame. They call me Mame because I am missing many body parts. I see. Because we have a little <laughs> bit of landmine problem in uh -huh. Afghanistan. Oh, is but that where you are? You, you have a home in Afghanistan? Oh, yes. Well, you could call it a home. It's a, I live in a cave. A cave. But I did escape, so I'm here now. But I, I'm, and I'm looking for a place to live, Joey. Well, there, we have plenty of caves here in New York, believe me. Oh, yes. <laughs> You'll well, feel right at home. <laughs> I heard there's a sublet in Stuyvesant Town. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> and I could stay on a futon <laughs> with a drag queen called B.J. McWhiskers. I'm going to look into it tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. No, no, does, uh, does Mr. Bin Laden, do I call him that? Well, you could call him anything you want. Just D don't he... call him late for goat balls or, or... because that's his favorite meal and he'll be very upset. I see. Does he know th that you're gone? Well, I don't know, Joey. I doubt it because he has 562 wives, so I will not be missed. Well, that's alimony. I don't think so. Does he pay you? Well, he should pay me, Joey. I, I think he should pay me 50 drachmas at least for everything I've done. I was in charge of his backwashing. I was chief backwasher of Osama. Oh, you, you... And he has a lot of hair. In oh, I thought, his... Do you mean waterboarding or? Well, What's yeah. back washing? What's well, that? Well, I was in charge of washing his back. Oh, I see. But uh, <laughs> I was I was always blindfolded because I was not allowed to look upon him. Praise Allah, jihad. Let's go. Oh, you're not. You're not allowed to 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 look on him. No, no, I'm not allowed to look upon him or myself or any of my body parts. That's why I don't know what body parts I'm missing from all the landmine explosions. Well, I hate to ask you this, but I will. Praise I mean, Allah. Can 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 you show a little leg? Oh! <laughs> I could show you a little leg because that's all that's left after all the landmine explosions. But I, I'm not sure because I'm not allowed to look upon myself. And I'm not allowed to see under the veil there, am I? Well, Joey, it, I, it, it maybe. What are you doing later? <laughs> Praise Allah, jihad. Let's go, Joey. On my way here, a little tiny crazy American infidel girl came up to me and she said, please, are you Lady Gaga? <laughs> and I said, who is this Lady Gaga that you speak of? And she said, what, have you been living in a cave? And I said, yes, yes. I have been living in a cave. In a cave. Praise <laughs> Allah, Jihad, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. But you're, you're, you're beautiful, I think. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure either, Joey. I've never <laughs> seen myself. I you look like you're in shape. Are you, are you at least in shape? Well, Joey, you, you tell me later when I go home with you. Uh, yeah, Joey, right. Joey, <laughs> I'm so excited. Is this cable TV? It, it's, it's over the air and cable. It's, it's everything. You, you certainly have blown everybody away here. Well, no, 
Don't mention it. Don't say anything about that. An explosion. I've seen enough of those, I, Joey. I, I thank you for being I here. I hope I didn't bomb. No, not at all. Because, you know, I, no. <laughs> I've had enough of the bombing. I'll be stoned to death back at the camp if I, if I didn't do... But maybe I should try getting stoned. Uh, Joey, I, I, I don't think it'll be a problem. Just walk us. outside. You'll oh. have something thrown at you. Oh, that's probably true. There's a lot of white stuff on the ground. Joey, everyone wants to know how I escaped from the cave. Yeah, how did do you, you want to know? Yeah, I do want to know that. Well, one night, and everyone, you should hear this because if you are ever stuck in a cave with Osama and you want to get the heck out, this is what you do. What do you do? This is what I did, Joey. I crawled on the cave floor in my burqa like this, Joey. I hid in every dark corner. When I get to mouth of cave, there is a man. He is Al-Qaeda. He has rifle. He says to me, wait, stop. Who are you? I'll shoot. And I said, please, mister, don't shoot me. I'll show you something. And I did. And he dropped dead of excitement. Do you want to see? Yeah, what did you do? Oh, well, I'll show you. OK, hit it. You got music? Uh. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Joey? Is it driving you crazy? <laughs> oh, this is. No, you're showing face. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, thank you for thank you for a peek. Oh, well, thank you, Joey. It's so good to be out of the cave. Yeah. Well, I'm not out of the closet, let alone the cave. Well. Uh, thank you very, well, very much, uh, thank Mamie. Thank you, Joey. Should I take this with please, me? Take, take everything I'll take with you, please. I'll take your pen too and your cup. Yeah, and we'll and we'll get we'll get you an escort out of the building. Thank you so. Joey. Nasdaq will never be the same. It's we'll be, so good we'll be to right see back. <laughs> you were wonderful. Uh... Like and the founder of Consolidated Credit. For almost two decades, Consolidated Credit has helped millions of Americans just like you. We've helped nurses and doctors. We've helped police officers and firefighters. We've helped homemakers and home builders. We've helped over five million people suffering from credit card debt. And now we want to help you. Consolidated Credit is the one company you can trust. Our exclusive Freedom Quest program can help you find options and solutions to your financial challenges. We can reduce your monthly payments by up to 50%, consolidate your bills into one easy payment, save you thousands in interest and fees, and help you get out of debt fast. When credit card debt is the problem, we're the solution. We've helped over 5 million people. Let us help you. You're one call away from financial freedom. Call Consolidated Credit now. 1-800-440-2181. 1-800-440-2181. Picture wonderful guests, terrific music, and comics that are really funny, and a host that's okay. Uh, that's me, Joey Reynolds, on NBC's New York Nonstop, and what the show is called is All Night with Joey Reynolds. We're actually doing the show from the NASDAQ Market site, which is at 43rd and Broadway in Times Square. This is a show worth staying up for all night with Joey Reynolds on NBC's New York Nonstop. Computer problems? Not a problem for Computer Haven. At a loss at what to do when a computer malfunctions or that inevitable virus strikes? Then call the guys at Computer Haven, the safe place for all your computing needs. Experts in computer and laptop repair, upgrades and new custom-built PC desktops and Macs. 
Give us a call today, 732-264-1100, or visit us at computerhaven-nj.com. gang that's hanging around waiting to get on the air and a gang that's outside waiting to lynch me for having Bin Laden's wife on, who is incidentally, uh, she's, a, she's a, 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 an actress, not real, not real. <laughs> we don't want a crowd that's, uh, that, that's ready to take me to Afghanistan, uh, but that, that particular piece is played by Shecky Beagleman. Can you imagine that name? I think it's a better name than Bin Laden. All right, we're going to bring out another one of these stars. It's a rising star, Rachel Platten, and she's going to rise on this show, and you're going to be really amused and amazed. But we're all in, all these guys here are stunned by her beauty. She doesn't even have to sing or play well at this point, <laughs> but she does. Here's Rachel Platten. Come on, Rachel. Come on out here. <laughs> when you look like this, you don't have to do too much. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it awful to be beautiful? Hot I know. <laughs> mm. Hi. Good. Nice it's wonderful. You. Come on, sit down. I got two daughters. I'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, but you're lovely, and, and you know we're all all the guys were waiting for you to come. They wanted to get everybody out of the way. They don't want any Carol Channings. They don't want no 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 one of the old old school. You know, uh, and and the, even the director of the show. You know, he wants to do it <laughs> two hours with you and. <laughs> Two minutes with me. <laughs> I'll take over. It's fine. <laughs> but you can't blame him. You got a very lovely personality, Thank and you're you. very sparkling and beautiful, Aww. and you're talented, and you Thank sing, you. and you play the piano. Thank you so much. So get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. We don't See want you later. <laughs> <laughs> You've been playing with. Uh, no, who's that guy that's got the TV show? I met him, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, he, Jimmy Lloyd. Yeah, Jimmy Lloyd. That's it. I only met him once. You know, I met him. He did my radio show. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a half a year or eight months ago. I like him. He's really nice. Very cool. And very. So, did he discover you? I don't know. I mean. Well, I don't know. I don't. I just asked the questions. Um, I don't know if he discovered me. He he turned me on to your show, and he connected me with your peeps to well, get on you here. Know, because we're, we're all friends, you know. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, all, Jimmy, in a way, did. Yeah. We're all a little married on this on this <laughs> new television. Yeah. So have you seen this channel, this nonstop New York? I was watching it a little bit today. How does it to look get to you? Psyched. It looks good. It looks really good. Does this look like it's got a happening really, feel? Really, really professional. Yeah. How old are you? Are you 20 something? I'm 14. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, 20 something. You, you can't go by me. I'm wearing a training bra. <laughs> so, uh, but that's because I don't go to the gym. Good for you. <laughs> thank you. Gyms are for dorks. <laughs> no, but I have a, I have a, a passion for women. And, uh, well, because. No, no, there's a reason. I'm not saying it to be slimy. Right. You know, I mean, it's, it's not a sleazy thing. I was raised with two sisters. I have uh, worked for women twice in my life, power ladies, and best of friends with Judith Regan, who I, I think is a powerful wow. woman. You know, the people who are of yeah. the, who know what they're doing and they yeah. do it real well. Absolutely. And they know that it was a man's world and it better not be. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have two daughters. Yeah, that's amazing. And, and you know, so I, I, and then I had... When I had my wife and the two daughters all trying to use one bathroom, you know, oh boy. you never get in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're probably very patient. Well, so that's what I mean. You know, I, I, so I appreciate women. I'm, I'm comfortable with women. Yeah. Men scare me. Oh, I know. They scare the hell out of me. Like, you got that drummer? Terrifying. He's got to go. What's his he's, name? He's got to go. Let's fire him. Yeah, get rid of him. What's his name? Craig Meyer. Is he your boyfriend? No. But we he's don't know. one of my best friends. He kind of like, you know, he had that, he had that look. No, we just, we love playing together. We, yeah. we are connected on a musical level. Oh, sure. Don't give me no, that sandbox really. talk. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's one of my best friends. He's great. We yeah. tour together. and. So where, where are you going? Not with this conversation. No, fine. Um, we're, I'm going to Asia in yeah. a week. I'm where? going to Singapore okay, and good. Japan. You'll and like it. Thank You'll you. Like I've, it. Have you been there? Yeah. I was, um, yeah. I, uh, well, I've taken the show, the radio show around the world. We went to China, went to Beijing, yeah. and then to Shanghai and Hong Kong. And then to Singapore Very and cool. Vietnam on the way as well. Wow. Ho Chi Minh City was to Saigon. So yes, and yeah. then to Tokyo. So there. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was my three weeks. <laughs> but I, I have a I have a wonderful uh, uh, 
regard for talent, yeah. and you're you're very talented. Thank We're you really so much. pleased to have you. Thank here. you so much. We're so excited to be here. And really. I want to know a little bit about you because I've done all the talking. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm from Boston originally. Yeah. I moved to the city maybe like six years ago. Didn't know you were a singer, did you? Not originally, no. Classically no. trained. On the piano, yeah. I've been playing piano since I was very little. Um, I didn't think I was going to be an artist growing up. It wasn't something that my family did or that people around us did. It wasn't the norm around my town. And I grew up wanting to affect and change the world in some way. Good. So I studied international relations, and I thought I was going to work for an NGO. I wanted to do good somehow. I didn't know what, how yet. And um, I started, I sang throughout high school, and I put it together in college, and I, was, I realized that I could, um, you know, change the world, hopefully, <laughs> with music. Where'd you go to school? What Trinity College? College. Trinity, yes. In Connecticut? I've heard of that. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I used to live in Hartford. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Twice. Twice. For punishment. That's not great. <laughs> I know. I'm with you. I, I had you. a club there called the Asylum. No way. Which is right next to, uh, well, right across from the governor's mansion. Yep, I know exactly where it is. You know, where the sheriff, uh, well, I got, all the names have changed, but anyway, that's where I was. Very cool. And I, and I had a, a club where I put people like you in the club. Really? Yeah. Very cool. And, I've heard of know, the asylum, I remember. I mean, I love talent. Yeah. Because I don't have any. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so you gotta have, you gotta be a fan. You know, <laughs> whatever you can't do, you teach. You know. That's right. <laughs> so my music lessons start tomorrow. I'm gonna teach. Excellent. <laughs> but I want you to, I want you to be comfortable here. I know that you're not, you're downgraded from a uh, Steinway to a Korg. <laughs> but I can't carry the Steinway on my back. You know? know. And Craig, he makes me carry my piano. What is the old joke? What is the Steinway? <laughs> I don't know. What is it? I don't know. About eight, 80 pounds. You know, I mean, you know, uh, I like that, that one. I'm going to take that from you. <laughs> no, no, don't hey. do that. You'll be, you'll be thrown out of here. I'll be booed at. People will throw tomatoes. So do you write your own stuff? <laughs> I do, yeah. Do you have a CD? I do. I have a record coming out April 26th. What's called? It's going to be called Be Here. And it's all your own songs? It's all my own songs, yes. All right, so give us a little sound. Wait, wait a minute. We'll take a break, and we'll come back, and you go up there, and you play for us I and sing. And, I would love to. And then I'll go out there, and I'll, and I'll dance. You'll right? dance. It'll be great. I'll show you my training bra. Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> it's wonderful. I have confetti in it. There's a party in my bra. Wow. We're going to be right <laughs> Ouch. That's right. <laughs> well, it's late. You know, you can talk this way on television. You, you know what? That's fine. I'm You're a, fine. I'm a dad. Keep it up. Hi, I'm fitness celebrity Jennifer Nicoli. And if you're busy like me, then stay tuned because I'm excited to share with you the most innovative piece of exercise equipment ever. Introducing the Ab Circle Pro, the fastest, easiest way to have the flat washboard abs and the sexy V-shape you've always wanted. Are you struggling to lose those love handles nobody loves? Now there's a machine so advanced, it targets your entire core upper, middle, and lower abs, and even your obliques, all in one circular motion as it aerobically burns fat in just minutes a day. The secret is the Ab Circle Pro combines cardio and abs to burn fat, while its unique friction-free track uses the momentum of gravity to target your entire midsection in a full circular motion, firing your core like no other machine has ever done. You'll firm and flatten your stomach in just weeks, not months. We guarantee it. Best of all, it's fun and easy, and take just three minutes a day. And watch this. Simply remove the pin and the Ab Circle Pro becomes a fat burning bun and thigh machine. On the Ab Circle Pro, I lost almost three dress sizes in a few short weeks. With the Ab Circle Pro system, I've now lost 60 pounds. I feel great and I'm one hot mama. And now, through this exclusive TV offer, the Ab Circle Pro can be yours to try in your home for 30 days for just $14.95. And if you call within the next 10 minutes, We'll send you Jennifer Nicole Lee's complete Lose Your Love Handle system, which includes our three-minute express workout and nutritional guide absolutely free. That's everything you need to transform that body from flab to ab. You have nothing to lose but inches, so pick up the phone and call now. Call 1-800-709-1301 to try AppCircle Pro for $14.95 plus shipping with credit card order. Call now for a free upgrade to priority processing so you'll get your AppCircle system in 7 to 10 days or less. That's 1-800-709-1301. Call now. Rich is 
new album was Be Here. Is it Be Here? It's coming out in the end of April, so you got you got time. We'll have her on again before that. Here's Rachel Platten. That's the sounds of silence. You must like Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> that's great. Rachel Platten. Thanks, Rachel. I know that's a little bit of a dead room because I'm the only guy here. <laughs> no, we have, the, we have the usual studio. We should move a studio audience in here some night just for the entertainers. Or else just fake it, you know, put that soundtrack up. But no, no, that's no good. That's, I, I guess that doesn't fly anymore. But, you know, the fact of the matter is we're in the middle of the night in Times Square. Come on. <laughs> if you can get a band, they're loaded. <laughs> you know? uh, we got the hot dog stand is still open across the street. Did I remember Rachel's name? I, Steve bet me that I would forget your name on the way in because we never met before, right? I, I did it, didn't I? I got it. I got the name right? <laughs> Great. Good. So I don't owe you a hot dog. That's, that, that's stuff outside. There, there was a hot dog stand on 42nd Street when it was sleazy. You know, when they had all those dirty theaters there, and the, the kung, you, you don't remember that, Steve, because you're too young. But uh, Times Square used to have, uh, it was coin-operated. It was coin-operated. You put money in to watch sex, 
in the machines. Now, don't look at me like I, uh, I'm wishing for those days. <laughs> but that's what it was. I mean, you know, before Disney moved in, we all got very Disney-fied, you know. They put that, uh, that great theater up, the Victoria Theater. You know, they redid the, the uh, wonderful street, that whole street. And they got rid of the, everything except the hot dog stand. There was this guy that sold these dirty dogs. He had only like three stools and the greasiest hot dogs you ever had in your life, if you could stand it. You had to be real drunk to go there. And the guy had stayed open. He, he held out until he got bought off because the whole street was being gentrified. And they, 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 he held out. I guess it gave him about a, a million dollars. So he went home with his three weenies, his pound of fat, and his million dollars, and the rest of us have been better off ever since. That was what, that, what Bloomberg wasn't mayor yet, but that was the healthiest move we ever made was closing that damn hot dog stand. <laughs> that guy is gone. It's like the soup Nazi. You know, I lived with Kramer, right? I lived with Kramer for about a year. That's a whole nother night. Well, let's not do that. We, we'll, we'll do this another night. We're going to run out of time here. Simon Lovell is coming out. Simon is a, a magician extraordinaire and a fake, but a, but a confessed fake. And he's written books about it. So we'll bring him out after we take this break. This is the NBC New York nonstop Joey Reynolds all night. Uh, what's the website again? It's allnightwithjoeyreynolds.com. Could they make it any longer? We'll be right back. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is the third time this month my PC crashed. The last crash cost me 2500 and they only restored a portion of my data. You should check out this new online backup software called Desk Protect. I can easily recover from a crash at any time. Desk Protect? Must be complicated. Not at all. With Desk Protect, you just run a simple installation process, and within minutes, you can select the data you need protected. Sounds expensive. How's less than $6 a month sound? $6 a month. Even I can afford that. Computer problems? Not a problem for Computer Haven. At a loss at what to do when a computer malfunctions or that inevitable virus strikes? Then call the guys at Computer Haven, the safe place for all your computing needs. Experts in computer and laptop repair, upgrades, and new custom-built PC desktops and Macs. Give us a call today, 732-264-1100, or visit us at computerhaven-nj.com. Picture wonderful guests, terrific music, and comics that are really funny, and a host that's okay. Uh, that's me, Joey Reynolds, on NBC's New York Nonstop, and what the show is called is All Night with Joey Reynolds. We're actually doing the show from the NASDAQ Market site, which is at 43rd and Broadway in Times Square. This is a show worth staying up for all night with Joey Reynolds on NBC's New York Nonstop. the uh, 10th anniversary of my radio show and also Joey Reynolds let a smile be your umbrella but don't get a mouthful of rain uh, you can go to officialjoeyreynolds.com and you'll see how to get a hold of those and we got the mug I, I guess they're selling this one here all night with joeyreynolds.com and you can maybe order this I don't think you can order this yet this is a specialty item Simon Lovell is a great magician and a friend of the show he's also fun and a teacher of magic, and he does something very unique. Uh, he, he, gets, he gets himself out of a straitjacket. I don't think he's ready to do that here tonight, but I am, that's for sure. I get a, I've certainly have had enough of them around my neck. So here's Simon Lovell tonight. Bring him out. Simon, come on in here. <laughs> the long walk. 
Oh, <laughs> yes, I feel like I'm doing the very long. Sit Good out, to Simon. see you, Jeremy. Great to see you, my friend. You too. I haven't seen you in a while, and you've written 21 books. Yeah, and I'm, I'm getting residuals of these mugs. No, those are not. Those are just for display. <laughs> That's all they are right now. <laughs> They'll be out by next week. That's right. Now, you, you've been doing this, uh, this uh, uh, magic stuff for a long time. You really are a good magician. Well, I, I kind of, sort of. I mean, I, I can do magic stuff. For, I'm, I'm allegedly, I was a con man for quite a part right. of my life, but then fell back in love with magic, and now I do a magic-orientated show where I talk about con games. All right, well, what I wanted to mention was, first of all, the Magic Castle in Los Angeles. I was just there a couple of months ago. Legendary place. Yeah. Good lunches. <laughs> the piano player The piano player is not there, but the piano plays. Yeah, Irma, the invisible yeah, ghost you, piano player. You walk in, you talk to the piano, and it plays whatever you want. And, and, and I'm sure you tried to fox it with, with your great knowledge of music. I said nothing. <laughs> so it just right, so what, what I want to what I want to do with you tonight is I want to I want to invite you back again another time uh -huh. with the straight jacket. Oh gosh, you want me to, at my age? Yeah. Oh, well, of course, for you I would do it. Well, you can. Yeah, I mean, you're you're good at anything. I can. But what's the con? What is the con? Well, um, I mean, magic is what? Well, my uh, actually, magic and con games are very similar. The only difference is the magician shows you a trick, and you enjoy it. The con man does a trick on you, and you pay a lot of money for it. So what's the biggest heist besides uh, the, well, uh, the obvious uh, scams that the corporations have pulled? Well, I mean, the obvious heist in New York City, of course, Three Card Monty, the shell game and yeah. stuff like that. Um, do you want me to try and con you right here and right now? Yeah. All right. That's, I'll do it with a little card trick. All right. I'm not going to bet you too much money, because I, although I know you're fabulously wealthy, yeah, and I don't have any cash on me right now. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll bet you one of your mugs. Okay. <laughs> How's that? that? I'll Good. put ten bucks up against your mug on this little trick. All right. Here's a little trick we'll do on you, Jerry. Uh, we've got a deck of cards. I'm going to ask you to take one out for me. It doesn't matter which one. I don't mind. And... I, go, I go to this side. I like this. Oh. Can I wet it? Yeah, it'll make it easier for me to find. Thanks. And we'll give the deck a little shuffle again. I'll dry it. <laughs> do you want to remember it? Yes, I remember. Don't show it to me. Do you want to show no, it to no, your buddies I, at home? No. You don't have to know this thing. You'll see it on the monitor then. No, I'm, not, look, I'm looking dead don't at Don't look you, at I the promise, monitor. I promise I wouldn't do okay, that. Okay, here we go. And we'll pop it back on the deck. Now, there's a little thing cheats do called shuffle tracking. And it means they'll track a card to see exactly where it goes during a series of cuts. Do you want to give them a cut yourself and complete the cut? I do, yeah. Okay, and complete the cut. Fantastico. I think I know exactly where your card is in that deck. How could you? Well, I followed the cuts. Let me go through the cards here, Joey. Now, don't say anything if you see your card, obviously. That's very important. I'm not going to show you my face. No, I, I, I'm not even going to look at you just to make sure I don't see your face. I'm just going to go through these cards. I think I tracked it exactly. Come on, you got like two more chances. Hurry up here. Okay, I bet you the next card I turn over will be your card. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let me see it. I bet you. Are you going to bet one of these cards? Yeah, you mugs? can have the bug. What is it? All right. Ah, uh, you dog. <laughs> you, did you see that off the monitor? I promise I did. Come didn't. on. It's just a little game. You see, it does show you how the con man works, though. Well, why is it, that a con? That's fun until you know the trick, then it's well, boring. Well, apart from the fact that you lost. Well, See, in a, in, a, money on it, oh. in a bar, I'd have put $100 on it. Oh, yeah. Well, and you're smiling about that. Allegedly. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but, it, you see, it's all about the hook, the line, and the sink. The hook is where you're interested. The line is where you think you've got me on a bet because I said I knew exactly where it was. And you think, no, no, he's messed up. And the sink is where you lose the bet. Well... I want to have Lenny Ravel play for us here tonight. Oh, I'm looking You're forward to You're going to come back, but what's the latest book you got? Uh, well, the latest good book that I think everybody should read is How to Cheat at Everything. Okay. This is my scrappy home copy. Yeah, this is but, something that you take to Washington, D.C., right? Yep. Uh, how to Cheat at Everything. It'll teach you how not to be conned, as you just were. And if I could just give one quick plug for my show, Strange and Unusual Hobbies. Where? At the Soho Playhouse. When? Six o'clock. Every Saturday night, seven years in the running, and I think it'll also teach people how to avoid being conned in a humorous 
and somewhat bizarre oh, way. You're great. You're great. You're a great entertainer. Oh, Simon you're Lovell. Wonderful man. All right, well, now, 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 Lenny. Good to see you. you may not, maybe you don't know Lenny. Lenny's from Buffalo, and he's the only the only reason he's here is he had a plow. So yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, we got we got a shovel and a, and a pair of gloves. And he's put the plow on his head. So here's Lenny, Lenny Ravel, and he's my my good buddy and a great singer with him tonight. What's your name? Oh, Lauren Dragon. Lauren, 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 Lauren the, Dragon. The Lauren beautiful, Dragon, the yes. beautiful Lauren. The beautiful Lauren. All right, let's hear it, Lenny. Come on, have a little, a little magic and music tonight. Your mother calls. She wants that hat off. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. Lenny Ravel, where are you playing? Where do we see you play? Um, I'm going to be playing over at uh, the Bitter End this Sunday uh, on Bleecker Street. And it's going to be for the singer-songwriter sessions at 9 o'clock. And also next uh, Friday over at Wicked Willie's, which is like two doors down from there. Um, and that's all on my uh, website, LennyRavel.net. Um, and also, I got youtube.com slash Lenny Ravel for all my channels, for all my videos. 
I know. I've seen them. Ah. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, don't forget to uh, come back with us on Monday. Let a smile be your umbrella. Don't get a mouthful of rain. You can play some more. Come on. Okay. Don't use the hat. There are 13,000 cabs in New York City, but there's only one that pays you. Climb into the cash cab and I will quiz you all the way to your destination. As the meter clicks, the questions get harder and the stakes get higher. If you get stumped, you can shout out for help on the phone or off the street. But be careful, because in this rig, it's three strikes and you're out. So what do you say? Are you in? Seventh Street and Avenue Eight. All right, Seventh and Eight. You're in the Cash Cab. Yes. It's a TV game show that takes place right here in my taxi. Awesome! Wow! <laughs> wow! I'm your host, Ben Bailey. I'm going to drive you guys to your destination. I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions along the way. They're going to start off easy. They're going to get harder as we go. The harder ones are worth more cash. As long as you guys continue to answer questions correctly, you're going to win money all the way to where you're going. But here's a catch. If you get three wrong, that's three strikes and you're out. Which means I'm going to pull over and kick you out on the spot, and you lose it all. So what do you say? You guys want to play? Yes, sure. yes, we do. Let's take a ride in the cash cab. So what are your names? I'm Rory. I'm Jill. I'm Dan. All right. You're headed down to 7th and A. What are you doing down there? We're uh, going to go get something to eat. All right. Well, it is 38 blocks away. That gives you 38 blocks to pile up as much cash as you can. All right. All right. Let's do this. Because I'm hungry. First questions are worth $25 a piece. Let's get started. OK. Right. If someone literally goes for your jugular, he is attacking veins located in what part of your body? In your neck. In your neck. Neck is right, and you're on the board. Yes. 25 bucks. Nice. All right. Here's yeah. your next question for 25 more. Okay. In chess, what piece can become a queen if it reaches the opposite end of the board? I thought the queen queen can do anything, so what can, what uh, can become a queen? It would be either a pawn. All right, we're going to go with pawn. Pawn is right. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your next question to make it 75. In January 2006, Apple released its first computer to be powered by what company's computer chip? Intel. Intel. Okay, I'm going with Intel. Intel inside, and you're up to 75 bucks. Yes, yes. Well done. Nice. Here is your final $25 question. Okay. Upset by his portrayal in Citizen Kane, what newspaper tycoon offered $800,000 to RKO to destroy all the prints? Right now first. Randolph Hearst. Randolph Hearst. William Randolph Hearst. That is right, and you're up to $100. Oh, nice. No All right, four for four. You guys have $100. No strikes. 30 blocks to go. These next questions are worth $50 a piece, and they're a little bit harder. The first nation to completely ban smoking, Bhutan is a small country located in what mountain range? We got a strike. Himalayas. Himalayas. Okay. Himalayas. Himalayas is right. Yeah. I love my husband. I miss you too. Oh, I love your husband. Oh, All right, well done. A lot of love in this cab today. Okay. Here is your next $50 question. Okay. Hired by the Dutch, what English explorer navigated New York in a ship dubbed Half Moon? Uh, uh, should we go with him? Uh, Five seconds. Uh, just pick somebody. Uh, Ponce de Leon. No, he's not English. Uh, let's say uh, Columbus. Columbus. We're going to Columbus. No, 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 no. Oh, no. time has run out. The correct answer is Henry Hudson. Oh. Good old Henry Hudson. Yes. yes. They named a couple things after him. Yeah. 
Okay, that's your first strike, guys. John. Be careful. Two more of those and I will kick you out. Here's your next question for $50. Okay. What old school slang for private eye is derived from the rubberized soles that allowed them to...